Hey there, and welcome to the final devlog for my game, Greg the Glider. In this cozy flight adventure, you take on the role of Greg, a cute little pilot with the mission of arranging items in a kid's bedroom. If you've been following along, you know it's been an incredible journey to get here. In my last devlog, I shared updates about adding the UI and much more. If you are curious about how Greg the Glider evolved into what it is today, make sure to check out my earlier devlogs and I even uploaded the game trailer so you can check it to have a better idea about the game. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on all my upcoming projects. As you saw in the title, the big moment is here. Greg the Glider is officially released. If you are looking for a cozy heartwarming game with an adorable character and a cozy short story, head over to each.io and download the game. I've spent two months crafting this experience and I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for being part of this journey and I can't wait for you to experience Greg's adventure. Now let's dive into the progress I made in this final devlog. The main feature I wanted to add before release was the controller support. In previous devlogs, the controls were primarily designed for mouse and keyboard. Now players have the option to use a controller to glide around the room. Although the UI is only controlled with mouse clicks, you can say I was too lazy for that. The second feature I wanted to add this time was a proper game loop. Previously, whenever the plane collided with an object, it would perform a strange ritual. So I decided to change that by introducing checkpoints into the level. So I wanted the plane to respawn at the nearest checkpoint whenever it collided with an object. Although the checkpoints are invisible on the map, their positions are tracked. To make collisions and respawns feel more polished, I also added a dissolve effect that plays whenever the plane hits an object and respawns. Honestly, this was by far the coolest addition to the game. It makes collisions way more visually satisfying. To make the game more challenging, I added a live system. Now every time you collide, you lose a Greg head. Once you are out of Greg heads, it's game over. But don't get too comfortable. Collisions aren't the only way to lose. In the last devlog, I introduced a battery system where the battery drains as you play. I also mentioned that I had added batteries throughout the level. However, after some thought, I realized this setup was too basic and a bit problematic. What happens when you collect all the batteries? To fix this, I came up with a more dynamic solution. Here is how it works. I placed all the batteries in their respective positions and toggled them off by default. At the start of the game, only two random batteries are active. Once you collect one, it deactivates it and triggers randomly another battery. This way, you can collect batteries infinitely, and it adds a fun layer of challenge as you search for the next one. One feature I've been wanting to add for a while now is an indicator system. In the past devlogs, whenever you picked an item, there was no clear way to tell you where to place it. To make things more intuitive, I decided to add an indicator to guide you. I used a free pre-made asset for this, but I customized it for a better fit for the game style. Now, whenever you pick an object, the indicator makes it much easier to figure out where to drop it. Problem solved. Another cool feature I added to the game is a system to prevent the camera from clipping through walls and meshes. I even uploaded a short showcasing this, so feel free to check out how I came up with this solution. But anyway, now every time you get near a wall or the floor, the camera will orbit closer to the plane. Now for the fun part, as someone who loves interactive narrative games and whose favorite game is What Remains of Edith Finch, Giant Sparrow, Hire Me Please, I wanted to sprinkle a bit of storytelling into my game. Here is the concept that I came up with. I decided to give each item you pick a backstory. This small addition completely changes the game's feel. To bring this idea to life, I took inspiration from screenshots I captured while playing What Remains of Edith Finch and set out to replicate that storytelling style in Unity. Using Text Mesh Pro with a custom font, I created a script to handle the narrative. I added a cute wobbly animation for the text when you pick up an item along with smooth fade in and fade out transitions. Now, let's talk about what happens once you collect all the game objects. Honestly, this part wasn't clear to me until the last minute. Since this was meant to be a small project, I didn't want to go overboard with an epic ending featuring a Hans Zimmer soundtrack and cinematic visuals. Instead, I opted for something very simple. Here is what I did. After collecting all the items, a text message appears, the screen fades out, and the credit scene appears. 
And guess what? As promised, credits include the names of all the amazing supporters who contributed to the project. So far, my supporters are people from my close circle, and I'm incredibly grateful for their encouragement. Thank you for believing in this small project. If you would like your name to be featured in the credits of my next project, your support would mean the world to me. I also made sure to give credit to those who shared amazing ideas in the YouTube comments. As a thank you for your creativity and input, I included you guys in the credits as well. So yeah, I will leave you guys with a little bit of footage from the game enjoy and as usual if you want to support me go play the game and share your experience with me and don't forget to like the video so that it reaches the right audience and with that i can safely say that the greg project is complete in a few days i will share a video talking about my future plans how this progress has been for me as a solo game dev and a full-time student thank you so much for your support and for joining me in this journey don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay updated i will see you in the next one